Welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials and in today's tutorial I'm going to take you from a blank Google Sheet all the way to this fully functioning workout card that you can use to deliver workouts to your athletes. So let's get after it. Okay so here we are we're starting with a blank Google Sheet and as promised I'm going to show you how to turn this into that workout card from the intro video. Um, and just so that you know, that workout card is an example of one of the ones that I used to give my athletes. Um, and they would have that workout card and we'd print them off and they would fill that out and hand it in kind of every week. And that would allow me to track their workouts. So it's, it's a super functional card and it's going to have a lot of space for you to do lots of different types of things on it. So um, let's get after it here. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm creating a new workout card is just sort of put a box around how many cells I'm going to use. So in this case, um, I know that this workout card is actually 46 cells by 30 cells. So I'm just gonna put some numbers along the top that are gonna help me out. And then one other thing that I always do in my sheets is I like to have a thin border around the outside of just blank cells. So I'm gonna take this cell here and right click on it and gonna hit resize column and I'm gonna change it to 10. And it's just gonna make it really small and I'm gonna do the same thing with the top row here, resize row, and I'm gonna make it 10. And that just gives me kind of a border to start from. So I know that this sheet is 30 cells um, or 30 columns long because I've made it a couple times. So an easy way to figure out how many columns we are, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna drag it across and Google Sheets is pretty smart. So it's going to keep adding one. Um, you can see that this particular workbook's only 25 long. So I'm just gonna add a couple columns to the right. And all you do is you just right click and you can keep adding columns to the right. And so if I drag these along, that'll take us to 29. We'll add two more. And that'll take us to 30. And then I'm gonna put one of those um, border cells on the end here. So I'm gonna change that to 10. So I know that this is how long my workout sheet is gonna be. So I'm going to put a border around that. And it just starts there. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And then the same thing is I know that it's 46 rows. So I'm going to do the same thing down. And if I go to here, it's going to take me to 46. And you can see it just copied the border that I had on there. So I'm going to take all the borders off of there. And then I'm going to outline it all the way through. And I'm just going to put that thick border all the way around. So to put a thick border in Google Sheets, you just kind of go to this border tool and you would select the size of the border and then select where you want it to go. So I'm gonna put that thick border all the way around and that's going to make up our workout sheet. So I'm gonna keep that there and I'll delete the numbers because we don't really need those. And I'm actually going to take this border out of the middle because it's throwing me off a little bit. So I'll delete that and I'm just gonna fix this thick border all the way through. And we'll put that back. So there you go. So you can see that that's gonna be a lot bigger than our actual sheet is, um, but it'll shrink down as soon as we resize it. So let's do that right now. And the sizing that I like to use is, um, most of my cells are 50, um, and then another couple cells are 100. So we're gonna take this first one, I'm gonna resize it and turn it to 50. Hit okay. And then I know that we're gonna have two here for the exercise, and then, so I want, some 50s after that. So I'm gonna take the rest of them and turn them into 50. And when you've copied a cell, what you can do is you can right click and go to paste special and paste only the column width. And what you can see is that pasted the 50 in each one of those, okay? So that's an easy way to kind of do that. And you can see that now this um, sheet is starting to look a lot more like the one that we had. So then, the next piece that we need is a box for our athlete name. And in my sheets, that's gonna take up three cells in the top right corner here. And it's gonna go across 13 cells. So we're gonna go across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'm gonna put a border around that. So that's gonna be where the athlete name goes. And then in the middle here, I usually have a black line that is 
21 wide. And then off, off of that, we have the spot where we can put the team name in. So this is gonna make the bulk of our sheet. I'm just gonna color this in because I know that that's what it's gonna be after that. And then um, from there, we have one cell where we put the sets and reps, and then one cell where we put the tempos like that. Down this side, I know that I usually put the superset orders, and then these ones are always merged because I'm putting the exercises in there. So if I just merge kind of one of them, I should be able to drag this down and it should merge all of them for me. Yep, so all of those are merged now and I'm just gonna put this border back around here. So you can see like it's starting to kind of come together. <clears throat> Um, and then from there, at the bottom, I usually have a notes section, and the notes is six cells, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go there, and that's going to encompass our notes section, and that goes all the way across. So I'll put thick border in there, and I'm gonna merge this because this becomes the notes, and we'll border that off. And then what I like to do is just leave lines here where we can type in our notes. So that's going to be, that's going to encompass our notes section. So now it's just sort of a matter of filling in some of the boxes. So let's start to kind of do that here. Um, at the top, we have basically this whole area is going to be merged because that is going to be where we're going to type in our team name. And then in here, this is going to be merged because we're going to type in our athlete name. And that's going to be centered and that's going to be centered here so we got team name and athlete name and then underneath there I usually have a box here that is merged and that just that's where I would type in program name and then there's a date box that takes three cells I'm gonna merge that date goes in there and then we have sort of our set one set two, set three, set four, set five. So I'll type those in there. And merge and center those, or center those I should say. And then underneath that is where I put in all of my variables. So we, what I'll do is I'll put a thick border around that so that we can see. And where I signify here, I usually just type in the number, exercise name, and then we have tempo, rest, sets, and then it'll be rep, weight, rep, weight, rep, weight, rep, weight, rep, weight. And I easily could have kind of copied those across, but I did it the hard way there. And then this gets some borders around it and each of these has their own border. The border tool in Google Sheets works really well. It just is a little bit cumbersome to use at times. And then this all gets copied over to here as well so that we have two sort of sections here. So that's kind of what that looks like. Um, and then we go from here and then I have another kind of set of these part way through. Um, so I usually have 11 spots for exercises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Put one there and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Put one there. So now we have sort of our day one, day two, day three. And we'll put these over on the other side as well. And you can see this is really starting to shape out to be kind of like a workout card now. And then actually I think in the initial intro I had day one in here and then day two and day three. So that looks good. Now it's just a matter of kind of putting in some borders and some shading in different places to sort of make it look the way that we want. So I'll put in these borders here first. So if I just copy all the way here, put in the border <clears throat> and then I like to have um, inside of here, I like to do kind of like a dotted border. So I'm going to pick the dotted border and I only want it inside 
here. So I can copy that and kind of paste that on the different spots here. And I think that would look kind of good in here as well. So we'll do that same dotted border in there and then we'll copy that and paste it in the different spots. And then just to separate these out a little bit, what we'll do is we'll put the thick border around them so that you can now see where the different sets are. And an easy way to do this is if I actually hold control and I select this whole column and then this whole column and then this whole column, it's gonna select these as different columns so that when I go to put the border on, it puts them all sort of individually there. So I'm gonna copy that over to the other side and that looks pretty nice there. Um, I'm gonna make these are gonna be 34 inches because I'm gonna change the font in a minute or 34 sort of resized cells. So what I can do is it'll say row height. I'm just gonna type 34, make those a little bit bigger. And so there you go. That's kind of the outline of our actual sheet. So let's put some of the finishing touches on it now. So the font that I usually like is Arial and I'm gonna make this pretty big. So let's go up to like 36. Now we can go a bit bigger than that. We'll go, I don't know, 38. Put that in the middle and put notes. If I move that to the middle, center it and then use this tool here to move it up. And then I'm gonna shade that in this gray color. Whoops, not there. I'm gonna put it down here in this gray color, bold that. Let's use this gray color. And this is the one that we're gonna put sort of all throughout our program template to make it look the way that we want. Put this up here. Just holding down control and selecting all of the areas that I wanna make this gray color. And usually what I'll do is anything where I don't actually, where I'm not gonna have the athletes actually type in, I'll make that gray color. Um, what I'll do is I'm gonna make these aerial as well. And I'm gonna bold that and let's make them a bit bigger. I think we can go up probably to size about, I don't know, 16. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks a lot better to me. Um, so let's kind of put si that size 16 all the way kind of through. So I'll copy these and sort of paste them over here. Whoops. Paste that, paste that, paste that. And you can see as soon as we start to change the, the sizing around, it looks kind of a lot better. Um, for tempo, probably won't be able to go up all the way to size 16. So let's go to size 10 and we'll we'll kind of center that and make sure it's in the middle. Um, these, I, we could probably take up to about size 14, I would think, bold those, make them aerial and make sure that they're in the middle of their cell as well. Date, we can probably go up to about size, I don't know, 14 that and because I want the athlete to actually write the date there um, I'm gonna make the actual text color a light gray so that they can write over top of it but when we print it it'll still show kind of what I want the athlete to put in there um, so anywhere that I actually have an athlete write in their data I usually just make it um, white and then light gray font so same thing we're gonna do up here with the athlete name we can probably go up to about size 36 there bold it out Make sure that it's Arial. And I'm gonna make that that light gray color as well. So the font, make it like a light gray. So it just shows off in the background there. Um, we can take this way up to 36 font and bold that out. And this might be where you put in your team name. There's an opportunity to use some color there if you want to. And then same thing for all this stuff here. We're gonna change all of the fonts around um, here probably size 18 maybe yeah that looks pretty good we'll aerial that out and make sure that it's in the middle center all of that that looks pretty good to me let's copy this date over here make it the same so I mean we did this kind of quickly but you can see how quickly it is to sort of put together um, a workout card um, all it is is really some copy and paste across. Oh, I need to kind of make sure my tempos and sets and reps are the same across. 
So there you go. That's that's an easy sort of workout card. And then let's just finish it off here. Um, we'll resize this one down here to 10. So it gives it that border. And then one thing I like to do on Google Sheets. So in Excel, when you delete um, rows and columns, they still show. But in Google Sheets, you get like this this like the empty space on the outside. So I always like to, any of my sheets that actually are gonna look a certain way, um, I like to delete all the rows that are around them. Helps the sheet load a little faster and it, it just makes it look a little bit prettier. So all I did there, sorry, I kind of skipped ahead, but all I did was I'll just select the row and then if I hold control shift and hit the down arrow, it's gonna select all of the rows and I can just sort of delete those out. So what we have is just this sheet that's framed. Um, and it looks pretty good. So we could easily start to type in our, our workout here. So barbell back squat and I don't know, 301 tempo, um, 60 seconds rest, um, sets maybe three and then we want times five in here and then they could type in their weights here. And that could be easily how you start to program your workouts or even just plan if you use a cloud software and just use this as a planning document. If we did want to print this, however, um, easy thing you can do is if I just copy or just highlight this whole sort of cell here or this whole sheet and then I go to file, um, print, what I can do is it's going to give me a lot of options here. All I want to do is up in the top right corner, I can hit just print the selected cells and margins, we can make the margins narrow and I want to fit to, let's say width. And there you can see it's using up most of the sheet and it'll print really nicely. And maybe there's some other formatting options you might want to use here. So you might, if there's multiple ones, you might want to have a page number. So under headers and footers, you can put the page number, maybe the workbook title up at the top. If you want to title your work workbooks, like, I don't know, football training phase number one, maybe your sheet name, if that's important to put up in the top right hand corner, phase one, phase two, phase three, etc. The current date maybe might be important to put on there, but there's some options there that you can click. And then I could either print this or save it as a PDF and, and send it to somebody. So I'm gonna cancel that out. But really that's how fast it can kind of happen to create another template. If you liked this video, um, please leave a comment down below because I can do more template videos. I have tons of different workout type templates that I've delivered workouts on um, in the past. I can show you how to make them in Google Sheets. I can show you how to make them in Excel and they can become really powerful sort of tools that you can use to deliver your workouts to your clients. But um, I hope that this video helps you out. And if you could, please um, give this video a thumbs up. If you could like it and share it on some social media, subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Um, that would really help me out. And then one final reminder, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at DSM Strength. And actually I've just kind of started the Strength Coach Tutorials Instagram as well if you want to keep up with all the new sort of Strength Coach Tutorials videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.